Welcome to this squad international matchup. Today we have Team France against Team Poland and we're going two rounds on Cora AAS V3. So as we all know, a very narrow map from north to south. Be interested to see how they will handle uh, the far edges north and south of the map to get that map control. You don't want to let anyone get in behind your lines on this map. If they start picking up uh, your backup fobs, your mortars, or even manage to sneak up a fob behind your lines yourself, or even get start a rally, it could be devastating. You don't want to let enemies get in behind you because it's so easy to cut you off from main with such a narrow map. Uh, I do recognize a lot of these players combined from different clans. But here we go, roll out. And I uh, have to uh, excuse myself in advance. You know I'm the one to butcher all the names, but I will do my best. Do see, we have one guy on foot from Team Poland running towards Monolith, first cap. It's going to be a classic radio station as middle cap. So I'm expecting at least uh, one logy going there from both teams. Son, like, didn't like how the way he took that turn. The rollouts are very important. It, they are there to set your team up. You don't want to lose a lodge early on. We have a aggressive uh, MRAP from Team France setting up ready, covering this road, going in towards uh, a radio station. But we do have uh, Team Poland ready for this, so they're not going to push straight in with the logic. They're going to set up far on the west side. We have a aggressive MRAP rush towards Upper Orchard as well. Team, uh, squad 3 from Team Poland. Just noticed that. There's two MRAPs going up. I really like this. Looks like Team France have done their research on the timings for the rollout. Two MRAPs. Pulling the attention for this uh, squad from Team South Poland, West while they also have another Southwest squad Southwest looking like they're setting up a fob east of Upper Orchard. Great start from Team France. They have possession of a mid cap. They got a good start, but they can push down from the north side and clear out Team Poland. Also, early pressure towards the third cap uh, from uh, from Team Poland. So it's uh, a lot of pressure. Contact the night and sir. Actually, I did, I did read the map wrong. Sorry, that's a... It's a 6 cap, so mid cap is both radio and upper orchard. It is not looking well at the moment for Team Poland. They have a fob down, but they have not managed to get a hab up. We have rally for squad one from France and squad eight on the east side, west on, on the uh, one on the west side, and they're closing in. I have three three guys trying to get the hab up and trying to maintain control of up the orchard, but with all of these guys coming in and the radio on the outside, Abdul Al Dimas did he not see the radio. Yes, you have found the radio, and that will block this app shortly. Many are able to spawn in before the app goes offline. They could try to just hold the app in ruins, hold angles, just to hold up for the cap. It's going to be very difficult. The radio is going down. It's going to be some kind of reset now for Team Poland. They're going to come up with a plan of how to take on the situation. 
They're probably gonna have to give up on radio station with Moes and move up more plays up to Upper Orchard. But they need to be careful not to move back with too many people from uh, radio station. Because if they lose the south side, it could be a very fast roll towards nursery. But like this from squad 2. Just going up, already going for Team Poland up towards Upper Orchard. Radio is going down. We have some uh, ranges moving up towards getting to cap. BTR there to support. And on the far south side of radio, we have a small squad trying to sneak through along that south border. We do have a uh, Banaya as a hat doing that beautifully. You cannot, like I said before, you cannot let the enemies come around you from your far south or far north. So I'm gonna try to get some action, but there's so many things going on right now. So many important aspects of this game when it comes to positioning and pressure. Looks like Team France is managing to push out from their northern fob going to push to south of Upper Orchard and take out probably want to hold this compound here check out this one out this is a very common place for rallies and uh, and fobs already pushing down on the far northwest for Team France very aggressive very strong start for Team France and I wish I understood Polish because I can imagine that uh, the brains of the squad leaders here on, on Team Poland really needs to come up with how to handle this. They could try to stealth cap it. Question is, will they be able to do that before radio station is on one guy what it looks like capping ham farm so they might actually have time they have two guys capping nursery but this will be a full cap on radio station most likely so with the new system that increases the speed depending on how many people you have a stealth cap might not be possible for team poland It all depends on how fast uh, France will capture radio station. This position falls as well. That rally might be might be wiped here, but Ozzy nade coming over the wall. Looked like it at least no. Yeah, rally's down. This is one of those key points you want to hold, especially if you're the team coming from the west side. Because it opens up both the way up to upper orchard and down towards nursery and even the radio station. It's a very central part of the map and as we said before it's a very narrow map north to south so from here you could pretty much work all the way around the map. The flank here for this FOB for Team Poland is now open. If these guys want to they can push south and then east and sandwich this FOB that they know is here somewhere but it already looks like Team France is doing a great job pushing out from radio. <laughs> Habs over on southwest of radio ah, station. Yeah. He's sick. 42 lane, prone in, grass just aiming towards the hab. 
Flu, Flu, Boyard, Inside, Hab. We have Pista, Sep, Pongo from Team Poland. Need to find these guys and take them out. Six, gonna, uh, six making a move towards this uh, radio. Hab's back online. If Pista or Sep can find Sick, is taken out. And sick, he goes in and he takes out both of them. That was their chance to get the hat back online. Mad Fat and Pongo needs to do this. Oh, and sick keeps holding that angle very nicely done. Bet Medved and Pongo just feeling the pressure and the urgency right there, not being able to really calm it down, slow it down, go in uh, in an organized fashion. See some uh, PUIs coming up now on the map for Team Poland, I would guess. They're going to try to take a defensive line towards the south side over here as they work then to get something like this and work north towards the orchard. Let's take the initial toll here on kills. We can see all more than double, double the kills for Team France. It's a weird saying Team France, but when they do US, US team and Poland when they do Russians, but you know. I've almost stumbled two times calling out the wrong thing, but so far so good. All demons okay. holds the Ospak angle and gets. Did he get all four of those? Any lodges going out for Team Poland? They do have one fob on the map. They definitely should try to get another one up somewhere in this area. It's going to be difficult to survive this with only one way to push out. And they need to, to get control here central before France is allowed to push further west and start gaining this because that's a really hard choke point to hold if they get on control of this area. Alex Blade and Aussie, nice spread, trying to prevent the push from coming across this uh, river here. Uh -huh. Mamy strikera na iść od Mercery, Mark w miarę dokładnie jak na razie. Aggressive strike now coming in south uh, south side of the river here. Might be orchestrated and sent in here by the guys on the north. Finally got some AT to respond to it. Trying to take out the lodge. Lodge is down, that's uh, 5 tickets. Like great distraction. Is there anything coming up behind it? Let's well, support clearing out this uh, west northwest side. If they can just wipe the rallies, it's going to be annoying, really annoying for Team Poland here. I do see a rally up there, just north now of the strike. It might be close enough to the road that it will get wiped if you take a left turn. Yep. Yeah. Always need to think of that when placing rallies, try to keep them away from, from roads. Have 
Que ça? Que ça? Maybe? I don't know. I think that's a lat headphone striker. Opals and the accumulator are gonna come up against Skies, 60J, and Thendor. Just Mac also coming from the south side. Nice angle by Thendor. So, Aku, następne pole, jak by wiesz, przed jedynką. Also have some far away of the angel. Small little window, can't really connect. And Torch instead try to reply, but Angel takes him out. France doing a great job to make sure that they always have angles, different angles, multiple angles uh, to uh, shoot towards the Polish players. They're not only contested in one direction. Now they're having to fight away north. Contact northeast, east, and a few pulling attention to the east southeast as well. Looks like. No, they can't really hold here, south side either. Looks like, uh, looks like Team Poland is slowly being uh, choked out of this match by Team France. Taking a key position and choke point after choke point, and they're slowly working the way where the line is as the smallest. This gap here between you see how the lines kind of connecting out all the way through. And if these guys manage to push up here, the amount of players that put pressure nurse will, will increase immensely because, because it's such a short, just short uh, distance. All of these guys are split up from, from uh, this distance, it's 600, 400 meters, instead will be split up between 2, 300 meters up. So will increase the pressure a lot. And uh, Team Poland really has a rough, rough time right now. Going to have constantly watching over the shoulders, fighting in all directions, while Team France players just have to focus on that one direction that they're tasked of holding. And that's really under underestimated how much of an impact that has. For example, Arias and Big Bob up there, they only have to focus down to this area, south of them. While, for example, the Discomac needs to, to worry constantly about his east. So he can't really relax and get 100% focus towards this, uh, the players up north of him. But he could get that rally and that would be a good uh, start for Team Poland if they can wipe the rally here from, uh, from Team France. To see a very strong clash coming down southeast, east side of Nursery. I just want to see if uh, this Kumarike can take out the rally. Was squad 8 1? Uh, squad lead 1. Spawn is already there, so he could just uh, place a new rally. But girl in what spawns in takes out this Kumarike, so that rally will stay a little bit longer. Let's go down and take a look on the southern push towards nursery.
how this all began how, in the start of the rollouts where squad friends had a uh, I would say superior rollout got uh, control of the map very early but very heavy pressure towards Team Poland getting forcing them to kind of abandon their own strategy and improvise instead to go into uh, reply to what they are doing instead of taking command of the game and that usually puts one team always at least one or two steps behind and the pressure of team fast is, is amazing they are everywhere and see this line all the way from the south you can follow the red names all the way up to the northwest corner there From squad 4 up to squad 8. Recadabra finally gets two sure. down. Couldn't connect with the first couple of shots. But I bet, you know, come up over the top of the hill and you see four or five enemies. Kind of rushes the trigger a little bit. Mortars from Team Poland coming in to slow down to push a little bit. Like how they position themselves to hold the, the riverbed, which uh, would be an obvious, uh, obvious uh, way for Team France to kind of get around in towards nursery. So they got to hold this because they don't want to lose sight of what's going on. If France is, is allowed to take over this uh, riverbed, they could maneuver around, all the way around, and encircle nursery. Still a good fight going on in the n top northwest, but you can see squad 2 there from Team Poland is slowly, they're on uh, river fortification already. And only now do we see a second fog coming up for Team Poland. I have to say that it, it's been taking them too long to get a second spawn up. They had opportunity to kind of go a bit on the defensive here and focus on clearing out the northwest area heavily. And then could have, uh, as they lost ground south, they could have moved people back. But at least they would have cleared the rallies from Team France and got pressure on up Orchard, forcing France to actually send people up and defending it. They have no one defending. And their solid line is the only defense they need. They don't have to worry about anyone coming, sneaking through to the camp because they feel comfortable in the way that they're holding control of the map. For those who don't know, uh, I've seen any competitive games in squad before. These are not bad players. These are experienced good players on both teams. But we're all human, so we can all, all crumble bit under immense pressure, and the pressure from Team France is overwhelming at the moment. Also, the positioning and the way they move up uh, as a solid team, strong, solid line is uh, just textbook of how you should play, especially smaller maps like this, where you actually can spread your line from the far north border to the south one. Fifty-five tickets now for Team Poland. They don't really have the tickets to turn this around. And they would have to just go for it. Try 
try to set up their own defensive line towards nursery and just try to hold angles so they could send some extra people up here to the northwest and try to go for that push. They got no choice. They got, got some vehicles in main. We could try to use to break through the line. I mean, technically, they only need like four, five guys to get over here, block the map, take down the radio, probably get it halfway to neutral, almost maybe even neutral before any uh, reinforcements from Team France could get there. Striker, man, alive. Opos pulling up to the far north. And Burry as well. Taking shots against the uh, girl on one side. Uh, Demos. Conrad is coming in from the southwest of them as well. Nice. They clear them out. Seems like that was an airstrike. Don't know where that was uh, aimed at. Hat going up towards the striker. France pushing through the mortars. They have a about five, six guys coming now to the far southeast side of nursery and they're very close to the outer wall. One of those towers. They are really annoying. But they are smoking it off. I don't know if they, I guess this is Team France own mode is here because they're hitting inside. Here we have the pushing through Miss Carey just hiding in the in the grass in the vegetation there. Have is over under. Minus track to the inside. Tak, hot dog but there is trackerable. I get some frag I get some frag in there. Oh, it almost makes it over there. Oh, that shit. Any rallies? We have rallies south and northwest for Team Poland. They are making some ground up in northwest now. Do see that uh, Team France have been forced to respawn up on Upper Orchard, but they have time to push out. That is not in any way threatened, and uh, with 21 tickets, whatever happens here, it's gonna be over real soon. Uh, 
20 tickets in this radio here being dug down by Nandi. So there's let's see, two minutes left of this game, uh, tops before that goes out. Take a look on the scoreboard as they are at the moment. 25-23 Like I said, we do have three other casters doing this, uh, live streaming this. And I will link those Twitch uh, streams uh, in the descriptions. You should want to check them out, see some more views of this game. They might have caught something interesting that I missed, probably, because there was a lot of things going on in this game all over the map. And it was really difficult to know where to cover or what to, uh, to ignore. But this game, or this round, was played very beautifully by Team France. Starting with that very nice rollout, it was uh, looked very clear that they had thought about what they were doing. So that's the GG. Good fight from Team Poland, not giving up, trying to fight back from a very bad position. And just amazing from Team France uh, from start to finish. There's uh, not really more anything else I could say really than great game from their part.